thing we got is a package. This is some good stuff right here, man. They always say invest in yourself, right? So, y'all see the sticker right there. Cool car skate jack. Let me show y'all what's in the box. Bunch of GoPro stuff. Look at that. Ooh. Y'all know I love hats and some ball now. I gotta rock the hat. Ooh, how the hat look? That's pretty good. Alright, we got the three way. We got another suction cup. I, I noticed from the Grinch videos of the truck, it would be nice to have multiple angles of uh you know any kind of footage. So it comes with a battery. There it goes. Look at that. GoPro Hero 8. GoPro Hero 8, that's what came with the free battery. Comes with a free 32 gig. That's not big enough, but it's good. Then we got this bag, man. I got so much stuff. I got so much GoPro stuff. I used to keep this little case right here. But hell, it's too small. So we got this GoPro bag. The Seeker. That um, we can keep all our GoPro stuff in. It's got a clip right here. It's got a spot to put a bunch of stuff, really. So... We're coming up in the world, man. Got some new equipment. Anxious to get this Hero 8. I actually, this video we're going to shoot today, man, I might shoot it on this GoPro 8 and see how it does. Might use two angles like I'm talking about, but invest in yourself, man. That's what they say. So wanted to get, get some extra stuff, bring some good footage to y'all. So I think today we're going to try to load that Yukon right there on the trailer, which is over there. Trailer over there. I think we're gonna try to load it. It don't have no rear end, but um, I think we got a, I think we got a, a good idea that somebody gave us. So we're gonna give it a shot. Let me bust open that GoPro, get everything ready, get everything working, and uh, and we'll give it a shot. Gonna move those trucks out the way. Move the uh, orange work truck. Pull the white truck up, and then um, we're gonna try to get this on the trailer. So. A couple of viewers said we should use the engine hoist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and roll it over there and uh, just make certain that it picks up the uh, the back of the Yukon. We probably use the hitch. Gotta have the right tools. I can put this right out of the hitch. Won't have to deal with none of this. Then think about that. I don't use that very often. Take that off. Take that off. That's all. Keep it close by. Might still need it. I don't think we need that one. Take this off. Put the pin in. Back up, and here we go. I think it's gonna lift it. Yeah. Camera's right there, camera's rolling now. It's hot as hell out here. Look at that. Look at that. Lifting it right off the ground. So, in theory, what we're gonna do. We'll get this on the concrete. We'll put the trailer in front of it. We'll winch the front of it on, and this should roll. Roll it right onto the trailer. Roll with it. So I was just just testing it right now, make sure it worked, and it did. I mean, look at it. it lifted it right up off the jacks. That's good news. We'll get everything uh, situated, back the trailer up, and uh, and we'll give it a shot, man. snatch block pulley because this I only got a little 4,000 pound winch and uh, this truck is probably 4,000 plus when it's got an engine transmission 
but we gotta we gotta jump this curb right here so i'm a little worried that by the time it's time to pull it and get that to bounce up on there it may not have enough strength so i'm gonna use it and what it does is it doubles the um strength of the winch which basically makes it eight thousand eight thousand pounds whenever you get to the place you're dropping it off are they gonna crane it off no i'm just gonna pull it off Use the axle strap, use the shackle, and use this snatch block. straight so we hoping the sucker will pull right up Pretty much it. It's on there. I'm gonna take them shocks off just so the back of sit kind of flush. But that's it. To the guys that said use the engine hoist, man, I appreciate it. That definitely, definitely worked. I'm gonna take them shocks off and then I can move it forward a little bit. But that's it. That was, that was a pretty good idea. We did it. 
we can get this thing out of here put the white truck in that spot the white short bed in that corner spot i'm gonna put the suburban in front of it because i plan for it to be gone fairly soon and then this will be the spot where we work on white short bed and do the swap so that worked out man this is this is real real good piece right here that was brilliant all right we'll uh get them socks off and then we'll finish the job you got it take a look got the shocks off what i'm gonna do go get some old tires and sit on top so when it's time to pull it off oh uh, it won't, it won't scratch my trailer up it just pull the tires right off and, and, uh, yeah. and the wheels are the front wheels are rolled so hopefully we'll finish this project up chop and screw the footage and we'll let y'all see how we loaded this on the trailer with no rear end i ain't got my tires yet to uh drop that down permanently but we did pull it up get it out the way and put old 700 done in her spot this is prime ls swap territory right here this is where it goes down on this little slab of concrete right here so we got her into her spot gonna start on her soon it's been a while since y'all seen her but we've been progressing in a positive direction that 5.3 that's 4L60 out of that bourbon that's what's going in 700 down right here so she will live again very very soon happy with the outcome we'll get this thing out of here make room in the parking lot well in the driveway as you can see that takes up a lot of space when you got multiple trucks but um but we did it we did it you want to be in the video what's your name yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna figure out what's the best way to put the truck on the wheels. Do I use the two tires only? Do I use the wheels and tires? Because what I want is when we take it where we're taking it, we're probably gonna have to hook to a tree or something and pull it off. So I don't want it to mess the trailer up. And um, I just don't know. No, in theory, I'm thinking if we pull it off, this tire should roll, Sli I mean slide, slide right off. So I'm gonna go with the tires only first. And if that don't work, then we'll do one of those. So uh, we'll lift it up, put the tires in place, and then uh, see how it goes. Where do you think the lowest point goes? Mm. It's right here, probably? Yeah, or on the end of that thing. Shots. Yeah. Not the shots, the uh, control arm. I got it, bro. I got the inside of the tire. Yeah, that's better. I got the uh, control arm inside the tire. So it can't slide out. Right. Hopefully. It won't dig in the ground. It'll be fine. All right, we're gonna take this crossbar off because I don't want it to hit this metal plate right here. So we're just gonna take it off. slide right off so we're supposed to take it to a junkyard tomorrow and uh we'll try to get some footage getting it off and if that works that's the way to load a vehicle with no rear end i stressed about it for a while but that worked out pretty good especially for our first time it only get better if we have to end up doing it more often so um that's it for now we're kind of in a holding pattern until we get it to the junkyard so we'll check back when we get out there
That was insane. That's how you do it. <laughs> Trail was wiggling everywhere. That's it. That was crazy. Oh. Did it work? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, well that's it, man. We got it. We got it on and off with no rear end, so. Hey, until next time, man. Peace. Well, holla at y'all. <laughs>